Hello everybody, my name is Catherine Wright. I'm the Family Life Pastor at First Christian Church of McKinney, just outside of Dallas. And I'm so excited to connect with some of our JYF friends here on CSW Adventures. Today we're gonna talk about covenant and staying connected to Christ through communion. And I'm in my church's children's library for us to read our scripture. And I invite you to find your Bible and to join me in reading this scripture. Our scripture reading comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23b through 26. And listen up because it might sound familiar to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now, I said that I was going to talk about covenant, and you might be wondering, what is a covenant? Well, a covenant is a promise between other people, between two people, between you and God, to agree to each other, to trust each other, and to love each other. Some of the covenants that we practice in the church are a marriage, which is a promise between two people and God, a baptism, there's a picture of my baptism. Fun fact, that's poison ivy on my face from fifth grade camp. And the covenant that we practice every single week in the Disciples Church is right behind me, is communion. Through covenants, we can experience our own connectedness to Christ, just like in communion every single week, and we reflect on the power of a shared meal. I want you to think about a time when you were in a shared meal with your family. Maybe you were at Thanksgiving or Christmas or a special birthday and your whole family was there. Well, that's what we do here at the table is we have that community and that communion together where we can experience Christ's love there. In the Bible, Jesus tells us that we're always connected to him, no matter what, and that you can kind of look at it like a grapevine. I don't have any grapevines around me, but you can look at the trees behind me or go outside and look at some trees to see what you can understand too. Jesus says that God is the one that helps grow the vines and that he's the vine grower and that Jesus is the grapevine, and that we're the branches, and that we're always connected to him. And what happens at the end of the branches? Fruit grows, grapes, the sweet little purple or green things that we like to eat all the time. And the fruit is the good deeds that happen when we're really connected to God, like showing each other God's love, sharing the good news, and always being connected to God through covenant.